Hello, this is Molly from Lessons by Molly. I'm here today to show you an activity that may claim to meet a standard, but in reality it does not. If you look at the standard, it's from the Virginia Kindergarten Standards of Learning, and it says that the students will identify, describe, extend, create, and transfer repeating patterns. Look at the activity sheet. It says copy the pattern. So what the students would do is they would place the shapes in the empty spaces just below the pattern that's showing. This activity does not meet the standard. So this activity, if it was on a website that said it was aligned with the standard, my eyebrows would be raised. All this activity is doing is copying the pattern. It is not identifying the pattern. It is not describing the pattern. It does not extend the pattern. It doesn't create a pattern or transfer a repeating pattern. Now somebody might say, oh wait a minute, it is creating a repeating pattern. It's extending it. But no it's not because if you look at the last piece in the part that's provided, it's a spade. And we're actually starting with a spade. So we're not extending the pattern. Otherwise we would start with this shape. It's important to note that the curriculum framework that the Virginia Department of Education provides gives us a deeper understanding of the meaning of this standard. And in the next part, I'm going to show you an activity that looks like it meets part of this standard, but in reality, it doesn't. So hold on for a second and I'll show you that. Now we have an activity that says extend the pattern. Look at the pattern. Now I'm going to extend it in the empty spaces. So I'm going to put a spade and then I'm going to put this shape and then a heart. And I've extended the pattern. But I actually have not followed the curriculum framework. So this activity is going to get my eyebrows raised as well. Let's look at what the curriculum framework says. It says to extend a repeating pattern by adding at least two repetitions of the core to the pattern. Well, we didn't do that. We only extended it by one repetition. Let's look at another part of the curriculum framework. This part says, at this level, the students should have experiences extending patterns when given a complete repetition of the core, as well as when the final repetition of the core is incomplete. So for this to fully cover uh, a repeating pattern, we would need to have another line of patterns where this heart maybe would be absent and then we would have a repetition of the core that was incomplete. It's important to look at the curriculum framework to understand what is really involved in the objective. Now if we go back and we look at our standard, we could say that this activity partially meets it. It meets the component of extending a pattern. It's not identifying a pattern, describing a pattern, creating a pattern, or transferring a pattern. It is extending it, sort of, but it's not extending it enough. And it's not including a component where the repetition is incomplete. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Bye!